In today's Fox Family and Health, we're talking breast implants. Over 300,000 breast augmentations were performed last year in the U.S., and out of those, over one-third of the patients were unhappy with their enhancements. But there is good news. A new procedure is giving patients more options than ever when it comes to getting the perfect look. Dr. Thomas Genevy is the only board-certified plastic surgeon in the city performing this new procedure. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, good. We want to get right. It's so right to it. It's so interesting because I was reading about this procedure and basically it gives women the, the chance to kind of change their mind once they've had the operation if they want to go say bigger or smaller. Exactly. Uh, the, the problem with breast implants that I see, the main problem is that what a surgeon thinks is right and what a patient mm -hmm. wants uh, are different. Yeah. Um, and that's for many reasons. That's from a cultural mm -hmm. problem and that's also from uh, bra manufacturers. A C is not a C to some people. Or right. So w what I was thinking was, is there a way to empower the patient? And there is. Yes, and right. let's talk about the contraption. This is it. You actually brought one along. And yes. what you do is you perform the procedure, but then afterwards you can go back in and increase the bus size right. or make it smaller. Just from this here? Well, this is the implant. Uh, this would be what a regular implant looks like. Mm -hmm. And this is the tube connected to the port that is placed under the skin. And through that port, through the skin, we can adjust it starting at the third month all the way up to the sixth month. Wow. And we do it in the office in a mirror, basically. And we sit them up and we, we add saline and we ask if it's, if it's okay or not. So they sit up, they look in the mirror while you're adding it and they can say, okay, bigger, okay, that's, smaller. That's exactly and they can, what they do. And you'll kind of work together to get it just right. That's exactly Do you find do. women normally want them bigger or smaller after an operation? Bigger. Always bigger, huh? About 95%. Really? Yeah. And then what is the recovery process like when you have to do this? Because if you wanted them bigger before, you would have to start all over again. Right. This is uh, basically they come into the office, they add saline, they go back to work or they go back to do whatever they want to do. And then when it's time to remove it, it's six months, it's under local anesthesia mm -hmm. through the same incision. So you have so. six months after the initial surgery That's to right. go in and change the size. That's right. Up. Wow. Well, let's talk cost. Does this cost more than, say, your standard uh, no, I made it very, uh, very reasonable. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I believe I added a couple of hundred dollars to, to uh, the implant cost, uh, what I was doing before. So not, not bad to get it just right. That's exactly right. Well, let's give people a phone number if they want to call you, if they're interested in the procedure. The phone okay. number is 270-8595. And you also have a website. We couldn't fit it there on the screen, but it is drgenebyplasticsurgery.com. Yes, it is. And they can call you up and set up a, an That's appointment, right. a consultation. That's right. New advances every day. That's exactly what No it telling is. what they're going to come up with next. No telling. I'm sure you'll have it, and you'll be doing it as soon as it is on the market. Thank you, Dr. Genevieve. Thank you.